Right, you uh, lovely bunch of weirdos. I've got a great tip for you here. I'm not gonna call it a hack because it's part of Logic's design functionality. And if you read the manual and learn about these things, it's nothing remarkable. However, it did take me a while to discover it. And I know that there are a bunch of other people that have never found out about this because when I tell them about it, they're like, oh my God, this is a lifesaver. So this is about moving tracks from one Logic project to another, not just copying the audio. So we're not talking about doing a bounce of the audio and then importing that. We're talking about moving over the audio track, the plugins, uh, this applies to MIDI as well. It includes automation and also the sends as well. And you can in fact take the, if you are say you're sending a vocal to a reverb send, you can also um, take the send itself over as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that. And if you're somebody that does remixes that you're working on tracks and you wanna just whip the vocal and something else out into a new project, this is gonna save so much time. So let's have a look. This is the track I uh, recorded and mixed for Liv Austin. Um, what we want to take out of here is this vocal and then these three tracks of strings. Uh, as you can see, there's tons of there's tons of uh, automation here. So the vocal uh, the vocal we've got a bit of level automation. Uh, this is a send uh, to a reverb. This channel here. Um, as you can see, so this is this is the uh, the master vocal channel. This on the bus, the bus goes to a Valhalla reverb, two point two nine seconds. We can check that later. So um, there's also uh, an insert, which is uh, Echo Boy. This is uh, just controlling the mix level up and down throughout the track. Uh, in the strings, we've got a lot of volume automation. Uh, to, to kind of get it to follow the uh, dynamics of the track. Also, we have, uh, you may uh, notice, we have a, uh, where are we going? We've got a tempo change. So we're just going to take the uh, the the vocal and the strings. Why don't you? But what we don't want to do is uh, bounce these out separately. That's not the idea. The what we're doing here is we're actually going to take all of this information and put it into logic so master lead vocal strings 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 so we close this project uh, look at this guy that's me new logic project let's uh, not have it on that uh, we go file import logic projects that's file import logic projects find the find the logic project that you want to take the tracks out of select the alter, uh, the track alternative if there are any and then here we you see we've got master lead vocal and the strings so this is all of the, the channels from the project are in here um, in order so they are numbered, so you can you can check that. Um, but it is worth making sure they're named appropriately, otherwise you end up with a load of stuff and you can't preview it. So you go content, yes, that's the audio tracks themselves or the MIDI information. Then we've got the plugins, yes, please. We want to take those over. We want to take the send over. It's only uh, enabled on the vocal because that's the only one with the, the, the um, uh, where, where that will. Uh, work um, the in outs not necessary uh, for this so we can leave that and automation yes please so we add those into our project so that's that's the loading page for contact which is the the strings that we've got um, now the issue here is this is no longer lined up because we're at 120 BPM and the, the other projects at 69 PM, uh, BPM, which is, you know, everyone's favorite tempo, you know what I'm saying? So we've got. There. 
it's a shambles. So we undo this. By default, these are blue and therefore visible. So you can select which uh, parts of the project you want to browse through. Um, by default, global is off, I believe. So turn global on and hello, tempo track. Yes, we want the tempo track. There's nothing else there to worry about. But yeah, we can then replace. We don't import the project settings. Uh, that's something different, but we re replace the tempo track. So bang, and now we're, we've got 69. <laughs> and there's our little writ like we had before. So now if we uh, add our strings, uh, so we go content, yes, plugins, yes, sends, yes, in, out, no, thanks, automation, yes, add. This will now follow the writ and it'll all be lovely. There's an We can, we can check the automation uh, by pressing A to reveal it, and you can see it's all in there. We've got the uh, the plugins, the sends, um, and we've got all the level automation from the strings, and this will follow uh, the tempo. So, and that's how you do that. Super quick, if you're doing uh, remixes um, where you just want to rip out a vocal, but you want to maybe keep the characteristics of, um, of the existing mixing stuff. So maybe there's some delays on it or reverb or EQ, compression. You wanna keep carry that over without printing it, without doing a bounce. You wanna carry it over and you can maybe make small adjustments to it um, or big adjustments to it uh, in the new remix. So it's a super valuable little tip, this one. I uh, highly recommend doing this. It's way better than bouncing and clicking and dragging doesn't work for things like automation because it's way too glitchy. So great feature in Logic. I hope it's useful. Uh, if this has been useful to you, then I would ask you to like and subscribe below, blah, 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 if you can bring yourself to. Um, otherwise, I will see you in the next video, you, uh, you lovely, lovely people.